We're here to demonstrate what an active side stick unit uh, is. Uh, first of all, it's a side stick unit. So what it does, it replaces the control column that is uh, typically or traditionally in front of the pilot. Not having this in, uh, in front of the pilot, but on the side, as a side stick unit, allows to have direct access to the screens. But also it's um, much, much easier for the aircraft manufacturer in terms of installation. Because uh, easier to install this rather than uh, there in the middle. Uh, it's also much lighter. Uh, we gain about 80% of the weight just by using a, a side stick unit. We've uh, developed and, and, uh, and provided side stick units to Airbus in particular since the mid 80s. So it's on all the Airbus fleet. But now what we're bringing to the world is the first time we have an active side stick. We're bringing it to the uh, airliners with the uh, aircoot on the MS21 program. What does an active side stick does? It's the active portion means that it's the motorized uh, version and uh, you can provide a uh, it allows to have cross-coupling between the pilot side stick and the co-pilot side stick. You see, when, the, when one pilot touches or moves the unit, then the cross-pilot uh, sees that. It provides visual feedback, and it also provides tactile feedback. Same thing when the autopilot, when the autopilot is engaged, then there is a direct uh, vision. It, there's a replication of what the, con what the controls commands are to the aircraft, and so there's direct vision uh, for the pilot. It helps in terms of situation awareness. So the uh, side stick units are uh, installed with fly-by-wire systems so providing an electrical connection between the controls to the aircraft systems. But typically if there is a, a fight, if you want, or, or contradictory orders between the pilot and the co-pilot, first of all you can feel there is a, there is a strong resistance that's uh, provided as a tactile feedback to the, to the pilot. And then Depending on the programmation of the, uh, of the system, we can either um, add or do an average uh, of the two uh, controls to the, to the system. But if there's too much disagreement for too long, then we disconnect and give priority to one of the pilots. That's to the desire of the aircraft and the cockpit designer. With this system, we provide a lot of um, options, a lot of features that are tailorable or customizable to the uh, aircraft manufacturer. In this case, we've worked uh, for a long time with, uh, with Irkut. They're very knowledgeable on fly-by-wire system, and the exchange with the pilots was very enriching both ways. Us providing them the capabilities that we can do from a technology standpoint, and then telling us what matters in terms of cockpit philosophy. And so through that dialogue here, we can customize and, and, and define exactly the side stick unit that they want. So one of the additional uh, option or one additional features that we can provide is an example of, a, in terms of safety, is an example of a stick shaker. If the aircraft arrives close to a, a dangerous uh, a maneuver situation, then we can, uh, the system can provide a stick shaker signal and the side stick unit will vibrate and will really tell the pilots, you, you're entering in a dangerous zone of the flight envelope, react. We can also provide other features like when, the, if the pilot manual flies and gets into a high-speed maneuver, we can change the force needed to, for a certain di displacement. Uh, it's like in a car, when you drive at high speed, you know, you want to have more resistance so that you don't move the, the, the wheel too much. Same thing here, basically, uh, when you get into different uh, uh, situations, we can increase the strength needed to move the aircraft, indicating to the pilot, again, through tactile feedback, that you get your high speed, make sure you, you, you know what you're doing. Same thing, uh, an, another feature we provide is, is uh, soft stops, so that we can program uh, uh, the window of operation, of movement, with a certain strength, a certain uh, effort needed within a smaller window. When you get to a more dangerous area or a more risky area, then we can provide a stop and, and require a much stronger effort to go beyond that, uh, that soft stop and that, uh, that safe situation. So always to give the, uh, if desired, always to give the ability to the pilot to do what they really want, no matter what the system does. Correct, that's one of the beauty of that, uh, of that technology is that we can tailor 
the uh, movement, the uh, feedback, the um, all the all the sensations that the pilot gets to the desire of the aircraft manufacturer. So the design of the cockpit matches the design of the um, uh, of the side stick, and we offer that capability in terms of movement. It's all programmable and it's all uh, tailorable. So we we offer that uh, that feature to the aircraft manufacturers, which is greatly appreciated, I think. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.